Time to shine.
The leaders of the lands north of Ammon realized their retreating mercenaries had opened a weakness to David. It is likely David saw the same thing. Nearly there. This lone tower is all that stands in our way. to our final objective.
There is no evidence that Uriah was at the Battle of Ammon, but it is entirely plausible that he was, since Joab had taken the entire army. Abishai, Benaiah, and Uriah the Hittite fought their way fiercely to the gates of the city. The battle was all but won. As Abishai was about to call for a battering ram, the miraculous happened. An Ammonite general emerged from the city, his black guard surrounding him. Lay down your weapons. The day is lost for the armies of Rabbah. Uh, 
The day is over when I say it is, Israelite scum. Your conqueror king shall not take my city. Your child king insults our envoys and calls upon mercenaries against Israel. And we are to do nothing? Travel back to him and tell him Benaiah, son of Jehoiada, stands at his city walls and let him tremble in fear. My king fears no Israelite, much less a man such as yourself. Come, bring your arms against me, and let us end this. Crack some skulls.
With the Ammonite general Barakel defeated, the city sealed its gates. The army of King David camped outside, biding their time. It's been two weeks. Are we to sit here until we all starve? My counsel would be to return to the city of David. We are not prepared for a siege. We have avenged the wrongs against our king. We must leave it to the wrath of the Lord, for he shall judge those who mock his name. We have enough food and water for another month, and still we could reach home. David has not sent word. How long do we wait, I ask again. David gave you no word. Take the city or destroy its people. I say we march tonight. I agree with Benaiah. I do not believe David expected anything more than for us to send a message. Give the word, brother. I concur with your counsel, Abishai. And I must admit, David's message was sent with confidence. Hainun will not soon forget this. Good afternoon, gentlemen. The Lord is with you. From the fullness of His grace, we have all received one blessing after another. Shama, your wife is as eloquent as you are. Be still my heart. <sighs> So in everything, set them an example by doing what is good and just. Blessings be upon you, Jashobim. Perhaps you should seek the counsel of your king and see what plans he has for you next. <laughs> 